If you like hamburgers and pastrami, you're going to love this. Today, I'm making a pastrami burger bomb in a basket. It's simple enough to make on a work or school night. It's packed with flavor and it's fun. Hi, I'm Deb and this is my kitchen. Here, I cover recipes that anyone can do, plus cooking skills and tips on making your dinner table the family center of your home because that's where family is built. Are you ready? Because the kitchen is now open. Come on in. Let's cook up something good. For my pastrami burger basket, the ingredients I'll be using are, first for the burger, 20 ounces of fresh ground beef, and I'm using 90%, half a pound of thinly sliced deli pastrami, four slices of Swiss cheese, one cup of creamy coleslaw. Today I'm using store-bought, but for a special treat, click the link here or in the description for a KFC coleslaw recipe that I picked up from Todd Wilbur of topsecretrecipes.com, and four large burger buns. And for my special sauce, I'll be using one quarter cup of light mayonnaise, two tablespoons of ketchup, two teaspoons of white vinegar, one teaspoon of Splenda or sugar, and two teaspoons of sweet pickle relish. If you're using fresh beef like I am, the first step is to make your patties. Press and form your beef into a patty approximately four and a half inches across. As I mold my burgers, I'm putting a depression in the center to make sure they'll stay flat while cooking. I'm not adding anything to the meat right now. I'll season them as I cook. If you make these on a work or school night, feel free to use frozen patties to save time. Next, mix up your sauce. Combine mayonnaise, ketchup, vinegar, Splenda or sugar, and sweet relish. Set aside. Brown the pastrami on both sides and remove to a plate. Then, toast your burger buns in the same pan. Now it's time to cook your patties. Season the meat with salt and pepper and cook your patties over medium-high heat. Cover with a lid for faster cooking and less batter. Flip your patties when browned approximately four to five minutes and then cook for an additional minute. Now turn off your flame, add your cheese, and replace the lid until the cheese is melted, about a minute. Next, remove your patties to a plate. Whoops, doggone it. Oh well, it'll be fine. Next, we're gonna build our burger and then bring on the fun by serving it up restaurant style. So stay with me. To build your burger, spread sauce on both the top and bottom buns. I like a lot. Add two to three tablespoons of coleslaw to the bottom bun. Add your patty, a generous helping of pastrami, and then your top bun. Fun meals are memorable meals. I found these baskets and checkerboard papers at my local dollar store and the white wax paper sheets at Sam's Club. Or check the links in the description for other options. First line the basket with your checkerboard papers and wrap your burger by folding down a corner of the white paper. Lay the folded corner on top of the bun and fold the next two corners around the bottom. Flip the burger over and twist the bottom corner and tuck it in. Then add your favorite sides. Today, we're doing crinkle fries and a deli dill pickle. This combo of lean beef, deli pastrami, coleslaw, cheese, and special sauce tastes great. It's good food, and it's simple to make. When you serve it in a basket, then there are no plates to wash, plus it's good fun. And family is built at the dinner table when you bring together good food and good fun. And if you feed them, they will come.